We've all been there. What starts out as just one drink with a couple of friends becomes two, then three, then maybe ten. Now what? What seems like an obvious solution, calling for a taxi, has recently become a somewhat frustrating experience for Calgarians at times, especially late at night. Better known as Gypsy Cabs, ads for illegal taxi services have sprung up across the web, offering a convenient reprieve from the traditional taxi. We asked Calgarians what they thought of private, unregulated drivers offering their own vehicle and time to get you where you gotta go. People should stick to cabs or public transport. However, if it is really difficult to, to try to find a, a cab in the middle of the, of the night, I suppose, you know, it's better than walking in the, in the freezing cold. You don't see transit running here till 4 or 5 in the morning. I mean, you know what, there's a lot of people go out partying, they drink a lot, they gotta go home. They get out, out there in the cold, they're not safe just because of that issue alone. And they don't know how to get how they're gonna get home. It's ridiculous that they closed the sea train line. Uh, I believe it was around midnight, and they're able to keep it open until two o'clock at Stampede. Uh, I think it's promoting drinking and driving, and I absolutely see why people were doing it. Bill, which is not his real name, agreed to talk with us as long as we didn't expose his identity. Bill's been casually offering private taxi services to Calgarians for years. I used to get phone calls a lot from my local friends at pubs that said, "I need a ride from point A to point B." So I finally decided, you know what, I'm going to advertise that. Calgary City does not have adequate services for the taxi industries because of wait times. Their rates are unreasonable and they keep going up. I'm not really concerned about licensing or insurances because most of the time this was a cash transaction. It was simple, it was easy, they needed a ride, I was there to supply it. I charge a flat rate, more the merrier, every single person makes it home safely. I'd rather that happen than anything else. I'm always questioning who comes into my cab, but every person that comes into my car is treated as a friend. The more of is more of me out there. Despite the convenience, safety seems to remain the number one concern in using these unregulated services. We, how can we uh, get home safely if we can't? afford a cab or, you know, drive home, being in a toxic of course is too dangerous. That's why I don't have a big thing against it. I think that would, that's pretty much a good reason for it. Who do you trust? Who do you know? Is it safe? Anybody, that's, t that's telling me that anybody could be driving a car and tell me, yeah, get in, I'll take you home, and I might not get home. Uh, especially being a female, I wouldn't want to get in a car with someone I didn't personally know. Okay. And just in case you find yourself waiting a long time for that ride at the end of the night, Mike has an idea for passing the time. 